logging and diagnostics is a powerful feature of Oracle Mobile Cloud Service that allows you to get an insight into system performance, health issues and errors. In this episode, I'll take you on a tour of the various logging and diagnostic screens in Oracle MCS and how you can get different views of diagnostic and logging information. My name is Grant Ronald from the Oracle Mobile Platform team. Now, diagnostics and logging isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. Depending on many factors, including your role in the MCS team, you may want to view log information in a number of different ways. As an administrator, you might be more interested in the general health and responsiveness of your system, whereas a service developer may be more interested in tracing an execution path through a series of requests. Now, MCS allows you to easily filter and shape views of the information that's captured in the logs. So let's start with system health. How are your systems performing right at this very minute? Are your systems performing healthily? Or are there potentially problems that need more immediate action? As an administrator, you can go to the administration tab to check the current health of each of your MCS environments. The console uses a traffic light system, green means the system is working normally, amber indicates adverse condition and red would indicate a severe condition. Hovering over an indicator gives some additional information from the last 60 seconds of operation including error count and average response time. And if you have got an issue that needs further investigation, then clicking the indicator itself displays a breakdown of health metrics across MBE, API and endpoints to help you identify the endpoint or endpoints that need further attention. So within seconds, you can ascertain the health of your systems and if there is a problem, where that problem is happening. Now to say a system's operating normally, you might ask, well, what is normal? Well, the definition of normal is pretty subjective, but MCS gives you the flexibility to define what those green, amber and red thresholds are. And you can even define different values in different environments. After all, you might be have, willing to have a higher number of failing requests in a development environment when compared to production. Now the way you define these thresholds is through something called a policies file. And here you can see in the MCS console where you can export and import a policies file. Now within the policies file there are various properties that define the values for warning and error thresholds and obviously anything below those values is normal. So in this example, you can see the warning level for the average time to service a request is defined as 3,000 milliseconds. Now, if you have more aggressive service levels, you might set these to 2,000 milliseconds so MCS will warn you if the average time to service a request is greater than 2 seconds. I should probably add that changing policies is an MCS administration function. Okay, so having got an immediate insight into your system health and assuming there might be an issue, you need to investigate what next? Well, broadly speaking, there are two loose groupings of information. There's the request history, which is basically the log of calls to APIs and connectors. Diagnostic logs, on the other hand, are broadly defined as the request history logs plus any system logs or diagnostic log messages that have come from your custom API code. There are different ways of getting to this information. You could simply select to view your request history here. However, MCS also puts important information front and center on the administration screen. Here you can see a count of any HTTP 400 errors in the last hour, which typically indicates that the client has erred. And similarly, you can see any of the HTTP 500 error count, where it's probably the server that's failing to fulfill a valid request. So if you want to find out more about these errors, you can click directly on the indicator and this will move you to a new screen where you can view the request logs. Once you're on this screen, you can further filter the logs to show request history of APIs or connectors. You can filter on HTTP status codes, you can filter on date or time ranges, or even use the free form text field to type in a search term. Having narrowed down your search to only relevant logs, you can then drill into each log simply by selecting the time on the log. Here you can see an overview of the selected request, including the request that was made, the performance of the request, the message sent back by the API call, and various other context information that allows you to reach out to any related logs. 
Here you could look at all other logs from this user or all other logs that are related to the current request. And by selecting headers, you can also inspect the HTTP headers. Returning back to the administration screen, if the administrator wants to look across the full range of diagnostic logs, including system and custom API logs, then you would select logs. On this screen, you could choose to filter on the request history and the custom API and the system logs. Now, having viewed some of this log information, the administrator might have narrowed down the problem to a particular mobile backend but maybe need some more information or more diagnostic information, in which case the logging level can be set. So setting the log level to finest would now start recording all logging messages from custom API code, whether they were info, warning, severe, etc. As for the services developer, we'll assume he's more likely to be interested in information specific to a mobile backend. So he can go to the development tab and then choose the appropriate mobile backend where he gets to see the logging and the diagnostic information but it's specific to that mobile backend. So now you have an insight into how MCS logging works and how you can view, correlate and filter these logs so you can now start investigating the MCS logs. Thanks for watching and look out for the next episode.